Education Galaxy presents Order of Operations and Prime Factorization. Imagine a patient in a hospital that's awaiting surgery. Then his doctor comes in to discuss what she'll be doing during the procedure, but all of the doctor's steps are out of order. How awful! You'd never want a surgeon like that. Order is so important, especially in science and math. In fact, we use very specific order when we're solving math expressions. Otherwise, we would get all different answers to the same expression. That would cause craziness in the science community. To remember, we use the acronym PEMDAS. First, we do parentheses. Any parentheses in the expression should be done first. Then we move on to exponents. After the exponents are taken care of, you want to take care of all the multiplication and division. Although we write the M before the D in the acronym, multiplication and division are the same level of importance, and if you see them both in one expression, you should perform them left to right. The same is true for addition and subtraction. Let's check out this example. We want to start with the parentheses. 5 minus 2 is 3. Now, Let's rewrite the rest of the expression. It may be tempting to do some steps in your head, especially the small, easy ones, but it's very helpful to write out each and every step. That prevents you from making any mistakes. Now that we have the parentheses done, let's do exponents. 3 to the 4th power is 81, and 2 to the 3rd power is 8. Again, write out the rest of the expression. Next is multiplication and division. Since we don't have any division, we just need to do 8 times 3. That gives us 24. Write the rest of the expression. We have 57 minus 60 left, and that gives us negative 3. So our answer is negative 3. Let's try another. This problem doesn't have any parentheses or exponents. That leaves multiplication and division. Since this problem has both, we need to work left to right. 2 times 7 is 14, and now 9 divided by 3 is 3. Rewrite the rest of the expression. Now we have addition and subtraction left. Since we have both, we want to work left to right. 65 minus 14 is 51, and then last we can add the 3, resulting in 54. Next, let's explore prime factorization. Prime factorization is the representation of a composite number as the product of its prime factors. Let's look at the prime factorization of 24. 24 can be broken up into its factors 12 times 2. 2 is prime, so let's circle it. 12 can be further broken down into factors of 4 and 3. 3 is prime, so let's stop there and circle it. But 4 can be broken down into 2 times 2. And since 2 is prime, we can circle those and stop there. So 24 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, or 2 to the third power times 3. And that is how we perform prime factorization. Let's try one more. The prime factorization of 75. 75 can be broken into 3 times 25, where 3 is prime. And 25 can be broken into 5 times 5, where 5 is prime. So we can rewrite 75 as 3 times 5 times 5, or 3 times 5 squared. Doesn't having specific directions and order make you feel so much better? You are now officially trained and authorized to perform any operation. Well, um, mathematical that is. Just to be clear, mathematical operations.